Youth sports are not only more competitive than ever, ever, but they hold more participants as well. One place is helping young hockey players take their game to the next level. This is the house that Ralph built. A man from humble beginnings, Ralph Engelstead was a self-made multi-millionaire. He passed away in 2002, but his realistic approach to life lives on. So when you have dreams like this... I'm nine and I want to get drafted to the Minnesota Wild. You need a suitable office to get your work done year-round. Always when we can train on the ice, we do that because it's, there's no mimicking the ice, but uh, we feel like we have the next best tool in the skating treadmill because we can skate, stick handle, we can go in reverse with it and do shooting with it as well. So. Definitely help my hockey ability with uh, my skating form and my and the fun games we played. And having the capacity to show kids in the mirror what they're doing on their skating stride and what we want to do to get the most out of it, we think it's one of the best things to help kids. The director of the Hockey Academy is no stranger to the sport really or the good, program. Logan. Try to keep that chest up a little bit more. Carl Gehrig was a two-time All-American at the University of North Dakota and was the goaltender on the school's last national championship team in 2000. A few years ago, he left the crease he was accustomed to to give back to the sport Three, he loves. Two, one. Good job. Here we go, Jaden. One of the best things is just getting to know the young kids. Um, you really have such an opportunity to make an impression on them, not only in hockey, but in life, too. It's the hope of Carl and the rest of the staff that the hard work taught at the Hockey Academy could one day help one of these young men achieve their own dream. The Hockey Academy will take players of nearly all ages and skill levels. The synthetic ice they use is a solid polymer material designed for metal skate blades.